Hello everyone, this is Hack the Gamer, and today we're going to be looking at Bloody Roar 2, Bringer of the New Age. One of my favorite fighting games of all times. So we're going to kind of take a look at it to see if it still really is that good, and if it's the great game that we remember. Are y'all ready to go on this journey with us? What was that? Huh? Can't hear you. You ready? Let's go. And before we look at Bloody Roar 2, let's look at the one that started it all. Bloody Roar was originally released in the arcade in 1997 and then was ported to the PlayStation shortly after that. Known as Bloody Roar Hyper Beast Duel in Europe and Japan and Beast Ariser in North America when it was first released. People were intrigued by the game because it was different, it was unique, it was fast paced, it was crazy and when you transformed into a beast it was next level. It was new, it was refreshing and created by Hudson Soft, Ryzen and Aiding, Bloody Roar was something different. It was something we didn't really see in the arcade before and haven't seen in a fighting game before especially during that time. Because you had your Mortal Kombat, you had Battle Arena Toshinden and other games like that, Soul Calibur, Soul Blade out during that time. They were also fast paced as well, but Bloody Roar had that that grit about it. It had that fast paced, unorthodox fighting system that kind of blew our minds when we saw it. And let's not forget the ring outs, man. We, we love the ring outs because it puts accent on when you beat your opponent brutally the whole fight. And these are more like ring annihilations because you like smash your opponent through the ring, which is awesome. But with Hugo turning into a wolf and biting the juggler or long slamming somebody on the ground or or Bakaru stabbing somebody with the claws and I mean it was so visceral when it came to the gameplay it was just raw gameplay and next generation they I believe they gave it at the time a four out of five when it came to the, the actual overall game and the reception in the arcade and PlayStation were generally positive so Bloody Roar just the later foundation it it was a, a great game and you know spawn several different sequels when it came to the franchise but now let's get into the sequel and my favorite game out of the franchise just kind of due to some of the moves and just the the, the characters and it's just something about it in general um to me just stands out in the franchise when it comes to just the overall game as a whole i mean adding the special moves the beast drive even though i suck at pulling the beast drives off <laughs> in at fighting games in general though it's like my favorite genre but um, I try, um, but yeah, let's take a look at it and let's take a look at some of the features and kind of go through some of the gameplay. So the options are pretty basic to fighting games. You know, you have the uh, for consoles, you have memory card, you have the controller configuration, you have difficulty, attack level, time limit, match point, character select, display type, you know, sound, uh, movies and pictures are pretty cool. Uh, play data, vibration. So it's pretty basic game options when it comes to the settings the watching custom modes are pretty cool uh, the watch mode is like a spectate mode you can watch the computer go at it you can pair them up to see who you want them to go against and uh, it's pretty cool to see custom i believe you have to beat the game to access some of the features in the custom mode um like the image and uh background far as how it has the image uh feature and some of the other features on there so let's take a look at the characters there's a total of nine characters starting out, um, total 11 with two secret characters that we're going to show in this video on how to obtain that or how to get them, um, as well as a speed run. And you know with speed run videos, you typically just go with the flow and let, let the video play. So that's what we're probably going to do. You're welcome to watch the whole thing. Please do. Hopefully you do. And um, we start out pretty strong and it's good. So I'll probably get some commentary as well as we uh, check it out. And also, here's a quick look at story mode, where you can play each player's uh, story and they advance by beating the character, like no, normal story mode in a fighting game. But it's pretty cool. You uh, should check it out if you have this game. Yeah, watching all the cutscenes get you pumped up for battle. But yeah, you can find out what's going on with the Zoanthropes and uh, the situation when it comes to the evil corporation, because there's always an evil corporation behind these things that create these you know, powers or monsters or abilities. But... Um, but yeah, you know, you got to fight uh, Shen Long, which is uh, Long's evil clone. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. And some of the Zoanthropes are naturally, they naturally have that ability to transform to be. So that's also a cool part of the story as well. But curse you, Tylon, Tyron, Cybertech Corporation, you're a horrible company. And before doing the speed run, I did look on speedrun.com to uh, see what other people are doing when it comes to the times. And uh, Hellstriker... Three minutes and 54 seconds is no joke uh, when it comes to uh, 
just uh, in game time. I guess totality is seven minutes uh, and 28 seconds, which is one month ago. So I guess that's the whole time. So in game time and, and the whole time, I'm not sure how that, how that differs because the game Bloody Roar uh, actually uh, keeps your time for you. So I'm not sure how that works there. But but yeah, I mean, six minutes, uh, 10 minutes, uh, that's pretty feasible, I, I feel like. But there's some recent runs on here too. Let's look at some of the, the recent runs. And I don't know how Hellstriker got 29 seconds on arcade free fall. I'm, I'm not sure what that mode is or what they do. I don't know if that's survival or I don't know what the difference between arcade default and free fall is on this particular situation. But 30, 29 seconds, man, like the low screen is 20 seconds alone. I don't know if it, <laughs> it don't really count that though. But so that's kind of 29 seconds kind of sus. I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know if it's cap, bro, but we'll keep it moving. But but Suzima, he's uh he's pretty tough when you get um to the the later rounds or higher levels, higher stages. But the first couple stages is easy. And the good thing about Bloody Roar Two or Bloody Roar, um, it it does have a timer in the top left, so you can kind of keep a track of your time if you're trying to do a speed run and get better times and things. So that's pretty cool that it does that for you. Yeah, but I pretty much one shot at this dude all over the place. Yeah. But yeah, Long is the person to go with, man. Like, he's my go to when it comes to the characters. He's easy to use. If you just started playing Bloody Roar, Long is easy to, to start with, to kind of practice with um, because he has good combos, quick combos, and they're easy to, to learn. Well, easy to learn, kind of. Woo! See, I told you about that ring out. <laughs> Love that ring out. Um, it's just brutal, but. Yeah, he's a good character to use, and uh, he's easy to learn. But I I've been pl haven't played this game in a long time um, prior to playing it here, and um, trying to do the beast ride was not working for me. <laughs> and uh, some of the other moves, like the juggles and some of the power moves, um, the basic stuff, I was thrown off. And for this, I'm playing on a Pandora's box, so it's different as far as when it comes to the move list. On PlayStation, you have the command list, which you can pull up easy. But it may have been in the options, and I didn't go to the uh, controller configuration, so that's kind of on me, too. So, yeah. <laughs> Figuring out the the beast drivers is tricky, man. For the, I, I mean, I got a joystick. That's what I'm using, right? Or I got a, a controller I'm using. I probably should have used a fight stick because I'm playing this on a Pandora's box, so I probably should have used a fight stick on it. may try that next time to see if I can pull the move off better or the moves off better, but... But yeah, I mean, you got those people with three minute times and crazy times for this because, you know, they know how to do the air juggles and, you know, you can take people out real quick with the air juggle and, and beast drive combo. But yeah, Jenny's no joke, man. She's tough. She's one of the tougher characters, especially at the later stages. <laughs> and there's another one and another one. Let's go. And you got to love the, like I said, those uh, ring outs are awesome, but. But yeah, I mean, have you played this game recently? Have you, um, you know, have you revisited any of the Bloody Roar games in the franchise? Let me know in the comments because uh, yeah, it's a pretty good game. And I, I feel like it's un one of the underrated fighting games out there because it's just, um, it kind of gets overlooked. There's a lot of different fighting games out there, you know, and um, some for everybody, but there's a lot out there. But this one definitely stands out. There's some that come along that stand out. And Bloody Roar definitely stands out when it comes to the mechanics and uh the fight system and like I said that um the beast drive and that aspect of it is just a whole nother level it takes it to a whole nother level i remember when i first got it and i'm i'm blazing her right now like like i said this is on normal so the default difficulty so um yeah it's it's not really challenging until you get like to like uh, stage four well she kind of <laughs> right when i said that i got folded into a, uh, a soccer ball and kicked around man but um but yeah, the, the later stages it get a little, it gets a little dicey, you yeah. know. But look, we at we at what two minutes now, so yeah, I'm making good time. So like I said, once I get back into practicing this and learn the the air juggles again, um, I'll be okay. But yeah, I haven't played this in a while, um, and I probably should have practiced more if I was going to do a video on it. But you know, my bad on that. Um, so I can show y'all some more exciting stuff. But it gets good, like it like it, it does get good and. 
Uh, I am going to put the time frames in there so y'all can kind of you know, skip around. Of course, I want you to watch the whole video. It helps out a lot. And uh, also make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already, uh, if you enjoy the content. But um, and we'll probably get into more live stuff. We do have a live channel. We'll probably get to more live stuff once, uh, stuff once we get that set up as well. But now, you know, you can see my face sometimes and my, my voice sometimes and hear my voice sometimes. And it's me and my son on the, the channel. Uh, we're both Hack the Gamer, and it's, it's in our name. So uh, that's kind of what it is. You know, we don't do no hacking like that. The only hacking maybe we do is showing you know gamers the, the cool games that they remember from the past. But um, it's actually in our name, so that's why you know people call us Hack. <laughs> so that's just so you know, like so you don't see it and be like, yo, you're you're a hacker? Nah, we're not a hacker, man. My, I'm not super technical with stuff. I'm okay um, with modding and, and things like that, but. Um, we don't do a lot of that stuff here. We do reviews and things, but but yeah, uh, we just like having fun playing games and showing the retro games and the games we all know and love, man. But uh, yeah, but and I'm a fighting fighting game enthusiast, but I was never really great at fighting games. The only one that I was really good at and I dominated in for a while is Soul Calibur, Soul Blade. Um, but yeah, Soul Calibur, I think too. I was I was a beast in that. But yeah, Hugo is getting wrecked, man. <laughs> He is getting wrecked. Yeah, but see, some of these, like I said, it's, it's going to be a lot of final rounds, uh, these next few fights. Yeah, you go tricky. Because you see those, you know, those moves where he highlights, those are the power moves there. So there's chains that you could put together, combo chains that you can put together with the power moves that take people out. So I'll probably be doing a little bit more practice on that as well and maybe do another stream or another uh, video um, showcasing it. But typically speed running, this is something I I probably try to do a little more. Maybe with my fighting games, I got a couple RK one ups down there to to check out. So I probably um, with my fighting games, kind of see if I can run through to do some speed runs there. But yeah, this came out in a time where the yeah, Bakura is tough too. Like Long Bakura and Gato are my three favorite on the game. I do like uh, Alice and I do like Yuriko. Jenny's dope too. I mean, it, all of the characters are pretty cool, you know what I'm saying? But ultimately, my go to if I'm like in competition, it's going to be Long or Gato um, when I'm playing against uh, other people or in Bakura. Uh, you know. But yeah, this game is it's a good game, man. Like I said, you should probably revisit it and revisit, uh, revisit the chan uh, franchise if you haven't already. So yeah, three minutes and 52 seconds. You see what I'm saying? Like some people beat the game by now. <laughs> like I said, they know how to do the juggle. So we're going we're gonna to get there, though. But, you know, let us know in the comments as well. What's your favorite fighting game? Top five, top ten. Or, you know, favorite fighting game you like to play to relax and things like that. But um, let us know in the comments on that type of stuff. And also favorite game of all time. It's, it's kind of tough because uh, I think, and I look at it from a yeah, he got wrecked. I looked at it from perspective of how often did I play this game growing up or wanted to play this game growing up and I didn't have access to it or I was trying to find ways to play it, um, but I couldn't and I was always trying to play it. Um, and a lot of times it was, and it's between, it really is between Marvel vs. Capcom 2 and Killer Instinct because when it was ported to the uh, SNES and the home console, I was like, because I was more of a Sega person than an SNES, so I was like, it's going to come to Sega, it's going to come to Sega, but it never did. So um, I really got a Super Nintendo sp specifically for Killer Instinct. So, um, and it's a great console. Like Super Nintendo is is, is a lights out console. Um, and you know, some people say it beats Sega. I don't know. I, I was like I, said, I was more of a Sega person. As far as like I like the games a little better graphically wise and the power wise. Even though they both were sixteen bit, I think NES or SNES had it. Apart from like Mortal Kombat, like Sega had. The first Mortal Kombat, but then SNES figured it out and start killing it from there. Yeah, yeah. Yuriko's tough though. Yuriko is no joke. Typically, but we're at level six, man. Four minutes, five minutes. We're we're getting there. Uh, and uh, there's seven. There's seven uh, stages, I believe. Seven or, or, or eight, I believe. So we're we're almost there. Yeah, but we're gonna we're gonna see some cool stuff here in a second, man. We're gonna get to them secret characters there, so you have to beat the game without dying or using a continue to 
access um, the secret, secret character. And we're going to see that here in a second. Hopefully, right? Will we? I don't know. I'm not the greatest. But, uh... And I and and we're gonna see it later, but I I, I totally forgot about his head his head stop move, like that's one of the coolest moves in the game, the head stop, and I totally forgot to use it. My bad, y'all. Like I said, I'll do better next time. But you know, just when you, when you think about you know franchises that you know need to be you know possibly revisited and made now, you know. Um, and to me, the, the GameCube, Cube, uh, I think that was Bloody Roar 4, maybe, or it had a different title. That one I really didn't like. I don't know why I didn't like it. They changed it too much. Like, I think I, I stopped really kind of messing with it after 3. Um, for the, I think that was the PS2 one. But, uh, yeah, after that. Oh, okay, so I, was, so I did try to do it. Okay. I just, I just missed the, the situation. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah, beast mode. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, stun is no joke. He's slow, but he's strong. I mean, he's fast enough. But yeah, he's he's like if you have a fast person like Yuriko, he probably or Bakura. Yeah, he probably don't stand a chance unless you can hit him with his combos. Cause he's pretty strong. Yeah, let's go. We had six minutes, y'all. So. Like I said, I appreciate y'all watching. Um, appreciate y'all hanging out with us. Um, like I said, we'll probably start doing more live stuff as well. But um, kind of wanted to, you know, celebrate, you know, what is it, 24 years, I believe, of um, Bloody Roar. I think it came out on January 28th. Um, so um, it's one of my favorite games. So I just wanted to do kind of like a tribute video to it and do a speed run. Oh, <laughs> knock them through it. Knock them through the freaking thing without the beast. Let's go. I, lo I love those moves, man. Those those ring outs are awesome. And I, and I did it without the beast for him. Let's go. Oh, yep. So here we go. Gato. He's the man. It got a little dicey here. So it's about to get a little dicey. And I like how they stop it when it comes to the, 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 the clock. That's how you're supposed to do it. Some people say you start the speed run. At the low screen, some people say when you actually, you know, are about to do the whatever it is you're going to do in the game. So um, I like how they stopped it. You know, they, they started back when you uh, um, start fighting again. So I don't know why it said like in game time. I'm not really sure why it said like that. But but for someone who hasn't played in a while, making pretty good time, man. So and Gato, as you see, <laughs> so you got a counter attack. Like I had to start like really paying more attention to what i was doing because like i was kind of autopilot like for the first three rounds i was like man I'm, I'm wrecking these dudes but um i reckon these people but it started getting tricky at when he got to the boss fights so i had to really try to like set it up yeah see what i'm saying like, i got to counter and set it up better block more yeah see yeah it's getting like i said it's getting a little dicey man <laughs> You see what I'm saying? Like it, it's not. Yeah, those those last few stages get tough, and and Gato is not a pushover. So, yeah. Hmm. Just stop me. Let's go. Beast mode. You know. Is that from wrestling? I think WrestleMania or Royal Rumble is this weekend too. Um, I think we used to say that in the army all the time. Beast mode. You know. Let's go. See, yeah, it was tricky. You see what I'm saying? Like, if I ain't blocked right there, I would have been toast. You see that? <laughs> see, I still got some reaction time, some decent reaction time. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it, it, was, it wasn't a total fail. I did pretty decent. <laughs> oh, man. And here we go. The special stage. Shen Long. He made it to the special stage. First time in a long time. Let's go. And that's his evil clone, Shen Long. Mm. So I took my, my took my time, and I had to kind of watch him. I had to take my time a little bit more. Like you, like when you're playing a component uh, um, opponent, you have to uh, you have to watch him a little more and kind of take your time and see what they do and how they fight. Uh, hit my hit him with the moose. See, I started showing out a little bit at the end. <laughs> I know y'all wanted to see a beast drive, man. If y'all stick around, y'all y'all gonna see a beast drive, and it's, and it's pretty grandiose fashion. So stick around. You see, what I'm saying. So I did a little juggle. See, I'm trying to get back on it. You know, 
I, I need a lot of work though, but but like I said, this is a, it's a fun game, man. Like these games are these are treasure games. Like you know, typically the second of a movie or a game is, is like the epitome of it. I don't know what it is about the second. There's a lot. Like you got what well, Ninja Turtles two. You got uh, yeah, he's, he's wrecking me now. You got Terminator two. Um, you got a uh, Spider Man two. You know what I'm saying? Like the second movies a lot of times are are the best ones out of the franchise. Not in every case, but um, but yeah, this one to me is, is the best one. Uh, this is just something about it that I really enjoy. Like I liked the first one a lot because I was amazed by, you know, being able to wreck people as a beast. Okay, so the time stopped. Okay, so you see that? So what? Seven fifty-eight. So it already stopped. So I just now just saw that. But yeah, I told you it gets dicey, man. And I, yeah, I wrecked him in that last round. But so yeah, that that's how you get Shen Long. That you beat the game. Um, you can beat the game with continues to get Gato. Just got to beat him. But to be, get Shen Long, get to the special stage, you have to um, you have to actually um, beat the game without any continues. So, um, but yeah, that's not too bad the first time around. But yeah, thank you for for hanging out and and watching it. Um, I don't know if you made it to this point, but if you did, thank you for hanging <laughs> hanging in there. I know it's not the greatest gameplay you've seen of, of Bloody Roar, but I'm gonna show a little bit more of um, gameplay with uh, with uh, Gato and Shenlong. So let's kind of take uh, check that out. But but there it is, folks. First place on here. The best time on here was 10 minutes, so I got it in 7 minutes, 58 seconds, So, um, which is good you know, for not playing for a while and not being able to do none of the beast drive moves and none of the air juggles. <laughs> That's not too shabby, you know. But I will get that down, and I will be more competitive with this one um, and I'll probably do it again once I, I learn the moves more um, when it comes to the beast drive. But, yeah, that, it was pretty good. I was like, man, I got first place first go around. I don't think I've been in the first place in a while, so that's pretty cool. But now here's a look at the special characters. In the bottom left, we have Shenlong. And in the far right, we have Gato, the lion. That's my dude, man. <laughs> that is my dude. So um, probably do some gameplay with, with uh, Shenlong first because um, I, I haven't really played with him in a long time. So, um, yeah, let's uh, let's check that out. But I did go on a tear with Shen Long, so that was pretty good. Mm, see, you have to delay it, and that's what was messing me up to do that uh, that combo. See, ah, ah. I love that combo. I think it's because I'm playing with uh, Shen Long. I started to step my game up <laughs> and actually started to play like I knew how to play a little bit. I think that's what that was. But yeah, I just started a uh, wrecking man after this. Folks, he pulls off the beast drive 22 hit combo. Let's go. Yeah, I told you I was on a tear with that dude, man. Figured out the beast drive somehow magically. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how I got that one, man. I don't know how I got that one off, but I did. But yeah, so that's pretty much Shen Long. But let's look at some Agato and then we out of here, man. It's a long video, I know. Um, like I said, I'm gonna break it up in chapters. You Gotta look clean with the all white. Let's go. Yeah, you could change uh, the outfits um, when you select different buttons when you're picking the character. Oh man, I'm, I'm getting wrecked though. I, I kind of I forgot about this fight. Uh, say, man, Hugo's no joke. He got them hands. 
But Gato is just he's pure power, man. So I have to switch to the, the beast on him here in a second. And I mean he look Gato was goaded, man, all the way, man. He is goaded. The red lion. Let's go. <laughs> look at that, man. Look at that. He's a beast, man. Just pure power, man. Pure brute strength. See, look at that. Ragdolling him all over the place, slamming him. Mm. Kick him across the, the arena. I mean, the dude's brutal, man. Uh-uh. That would have been through the arena if it was uh, one of those ones. Mm. Let's go. Let's get one more with Gato. Why not? Uh-oh. Father versus daughter. But yeah, her name uh, is, is Sheena. Um... And the, on the PlayStation version, this is the actual, this is the Japanese version of the game and uh, the arcade version of the game um, as well. But yeah, her name is uh, Marvel, Sheena, either one. But she's a leopard and she is a beast just like her dad. <laughs> as you can see, she got the, oh, beast at the same time. Let's go, beast at the same time. I got your beast. Yeah, she got the same type of power hits. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's she's tough. She's tough. Sorry I have to ragdoll you. It hurts my heart. That to kick you across the <laughs> I kinda went in. I mean, she was she asked for it, man. I tried to go easy on her the first round. Now nah, I'm just playing, she just kicked my butt. <laughs> uh Mm. Yeah, she ain't no joke, man. She tough. I mean, she is quick. Look at that. Kicking me all across. Yeah, see what I'm saying? She blazed me up, man. That was pretty bad. Yeah, I told you they get harder at the higher stages, man. But yeah, she blazed me up. Sorry, man. I got to I gotta run that back. I'm not going out like that, man. <laughs> I mean, you're getting bested by your daughter. I'm not going out like that, man. Nah, she got me, though, in the first one. Like I said, thanks for hanging. This is a longer one. We'll, we'll have chapters in there so y'all can skip around and things. But um, but thanks. Hopefully, you're enjoying it. Hopefully, you're enjoying it. Hopefully, you had a good time. Um, and just kind of hopefully this brought back memories as well. But, yeah, she's tough. So I just have to keep bringing it. Mm. I don't know what I was thinking there, man. I thought I was going to do something cool and just float it over her head with that one. I don't know. <laughs> that was horrible. Mm. There you go. Getting a little bit better. Mm. There we go. Sorry, my child. No mercy. I must end you. <laughs> it pains me. Had the record on this one, man. I'm sorry, guys. Maybe psychologically, I took it easier under the first round, but yeah, she got obliterated on that one, man. Best two out of three? Nah, man. <laughs> I'll probably get wrecked on that one, but well, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching, and uh, let us know, like I said, in the comments what you think about Bloody Roar 2, if you like this game or the franchise, what do you think about it, um, and if it's something that you wouldn't mind revisiting or seeing remade uh, to one of the new-gen uh, consoles. Well, this is Hack the Gamer. Signing off. And also, make sure to watch these uh, videos coming up in the, the end here. Roll the credits.